Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie. I just wanted to show you an all drugstore look. I recently got a comment on my last video saying that my title really didn't suit the content of my video, that it wasn't an actual mix of drugstore and luxury products. I don't know, I never know how to title these things. And when I title them, I wanna make sure that it gets into the algorithm so everybody can see it. I did have a mix though of drugstore and luxury, but Anyway, this video is gonna be all drugstore. I did tweak something at the end when something didn't work out. I've got NYX, L'Oreal, ELF, Maybelline, Revlon, CoverGirl, and that's about it. Did I say ELF? I can't remember. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you how I got this look. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, and I dip into fashion a little bit. And I'm really here to go through this whole process with you together. I'm aging, you're aging, and we're all trying to figure this out. And for all of you that are returning, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being in the comments with me. If you don't know already, commenting, liking, and subscribing, that all helps the algorithm understand that you guys like my videos and it helps push my videos to show to other people and that helps me grow. So I appreciate it so much if you do. And yeah, I think that's it. And we're just gonna get on with the video and I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sick and I've been sick all week and I didn't plan on filming today, but I'm so bored and I'm feeling a little bit better. Excuse my hair, I didn't do anything with it today. I'm not going anywhere and I'm so disappointed. I have a thing tonight with all the hockey parents that we used to hang around with and I don't think I can go. I'm gonna pretend like I'm going out. That's the best thing about makeup is you can pretend and if I do this right, nobody's gonna know. Maybe I could sneak out tonight. So I'm going to prep my skin first of all with Emberlease, the Le Creme Concentrate. It's a makeup base. It has aloe vera, shea butter. I already did moisturize a little bit. I'm so dehydrated because I haven't been feeling well. So I need all the moisture I can get. I did try out the L'Oreal Prime Lab Advanced Derm Primer. This is a pore minimizer. I tried it out the other day and compared it to my Tarte Smoothing Primer. I was really pleasantly surprised. And I'm just gonna put it right there. That's where I have my issues. Right in the T-zone. It kind of feels cooling a little bit. Brought these two out. I haven't used this in a long time and I hope it's still available. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Blur Foundation. And then this is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. Which one's gonna match me better? I haven't tried this in a while. I got it in light medium, so 09. I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers, I think. Let's see. It looks a little yellow, eh? You know, I remember this from the last time. It kind of went on like it was gonna be yellow, and by the time I blended it in, it was fine. Yeah, and I think it's fine. Huh, funny, eh? You just never can tell. I am cheating it right underneath here, guys. You know, if you have struggles with concealer, think of your foundation as pigment. Just because it's labeled foundation doesn't mean it has to be only used for that. Look at how much that cleared my under eye. I still have some hyperpigmentation showing through there. However, the rest of my skin looks really nice. I saw one of my favorite makeup artists use this the other day and she loved it. I didn't like it, but it made me want to try it again. I like a little bit more of a fuller coverage and this seemed more like, yeah, it's a serum concealer. So I felt like it didn't cover enough. I actually find that a lot lately. I try a product and I don't like it initially and then I revisit it and I'm like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Maybe it was because my expectations were different. Maybe my skin tone was different at the time or my needs were different. It was Nikki LaRose that said she liked it and she compared it to the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation or concealer, sorry, and I like that one. So I thought, okay, well, let's give it another shot. See, I think that that's good for somebody who doesn't have a lot of darkness and not saying I do, but you guys let me know. I'm open to suggestions and I might see this differently when I go back to edit. I can't see whether my mic is working or not. So I'm just like praying that this is working. Oh, this will be the end of a, rough week if this doesn't work. Okay, so that's had a chance to sit. Let me go back in with a little bit more. And I'm just gonna tap right there. See, it really looks quite yellow actually until I blend it out. 
am I kidding myself? I feel like, no, it looks good on my shoulder too. Next, I'm gonna go in with e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. Rather than putting it directly on my cheek, I'm afraid that that's gonna lift it up, so I think I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand, and I always squirt far too much out. Oh my goodness, you really don't need to even squeeze this tube. I'm gonna use a MAC Dual Fiber Brush. This is a 159 brush, and I'm gonna tap it lightly right here and up into the hairline. And I can actually use my fingers for the rest. I'm trying to keep this really inexpensive for you guys. I wish I had a sponge. In a pinch, fingers will do. That just goes to show. Do I wanna use fingers for everything? Not really. I also am lazy. I just washed all my brushes <laughs> and I don't wanna dirty them. Plus it's important for you to see that you can, especially if you're traveling or something over the holidays. Maybe you don't wanna bring a bunch of brushes. Although Refer has really nice brushes because they're short handled, but BK Beauty also has beautiful travel size brushes. They're vegan and they come in a nice travel case as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the contour wand product and right in there, just contour my nose ever so slightly. Let's go a bit more on this side, right into the hairline there. Be careful, obviously, if you're really blonde there, but this actually matches pretty well for my hairline, so it's not a bother. Maybe just a slight bit there. And maybe just a bit there. I don't know what I'm doing on my eyes yet. And I'm gonna pinch my brush and just take a little bit underneath my lip. And a little bit on the upper ridge. And I'm really going by feel because I can't see what I'm doing. Now I've got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand, and this color is Rose You Slay. So don't squeeze it like me. <laughs> Just a little dab will do you. Just gonna use my IT Dual Ended Brush and tap that on. I'm gonna wipe off any excess off my brush. It's just a dark raggy towel. So there's nothing left on my brush and I'm just gonna make sure to blend the edges. I did show a CoverGirl clean color eyeshadow palette the other day and I didn't use this one. I used, a, I can't remember the color of it. This one is Mellow Mauve, number 242. Maybe I'll magically feel better. After this, I'll go have a coffee and see if I can liven up a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty, look at. That looks nice. Oh, I hope this looks good. I'm gonna prime my eyelid though. I'm probably gonna use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer to cover this up. I'm gonna use this definitely as my eyeshadow primer though. And I'll just put that right there, just a little bit. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. What is this? I think it's a blender brush. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. And a little bit above there. Honestly, I could just leave it like that. That looks so pretty with that little bit of contour in the crease. I don't mind getting a little bit right in there too. I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm going in with a Beely brush. That's the one on Amazon that I'm always showing you. This is a little darker than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm gonna put this in the outer corner. These shadows are really pretty. Very, very good quality, I find. Not getting any fallout. And then what's ever left on my brush, I'm going to drag it up and over. I 
I just showed a tutorial, a little short tutorial. When you have a hooded eye, if I were to go in like this, do you see where that shadow is pointing versus if I hold my brush like this on a 45 degree angle? So when I hold it like this, it's gonna hit my brow bone automatically. But if I hold it like this, it's gonna go down onto my eyelid. I mean, it's not horrible. It could be a look for sure. But in my case, I want this area to be nice and light. And holding my brush back at the end of the brush also allows for me to have a more smoother movement. Switching brushes. I wanna go into this one. I think that is gonna be so pretty. Yeah. That's nice. I want to touch a little bit of that to the crease color. I want to just alter the tone a little bit. I'm going to take another Beely brush. Now, these are less expensive than the other ones, so that's why I'm taking these brushes into that lighter color and bringing that right in to that inner third and dragging it over just a little bit. I feel like I might be better off if I wet that just a little bit. I have the Milani Make It Last Matte setting spray and I'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit into that lighter color and see if I can get a little bit more oomph. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I am going to go into this one too. I want to use all of them. And this is another one from the Beely. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner right there. And even drag it up just a slight bit. And this brush just to blend the two together. Blend. Over on my Amazon store, you'll see the whole pack there. I don't know if they sell it in singles or not. Feel like they don't. So I'm gonna go back into this color right here with the tip of this brush and use it as my eyeliner. You guys let me know in the comments if the color looks okay to you or if you feel like I'm too blurred out. I know I had a lot of compliments on how nice my skin was the other day and thank you, but my concern is that I don't want my lights so bright that you can't see texture. That's not my goal. Like it's nice to look good on camera, but at the same time I want you to see the truth. Like I definitely have texture. Somebody said to me in the comments the other day on Facebook, you're calling this mature skin. And I'm like, I'm 52. Like I do have mature skin, but I understand that my lighting is good. And I understand I have fairly good skin as well. I don't smoke. I look after my skin. I don't really sit in the sun that often. I have in the past, but I've had skin treatments done, you know, and my mom looks young. She's 72 and she's 72 now. Yeah, she's 72 and she looks great. My dad looks great too, by the way. Okay, so let me curl my lashes. Do I have a brow product from the drugstore? I don't know. I have tried a drugstore product and I tried the Milani brow pencil. I did not like it. Maybe I should try this again. Maybe I'll like it. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. I already know I like this. It reminds me of Benefit Roller Lash. I think the color of the packaging is even the same. I should show this more often because when I tried it to begin with, I really liked it. Ah, oh, I always make a mess of my mascara. I'll have to clean that up. I have to get that close to the base of my lashes though because I'm blonde. Like if you have really dark eyelashes, you may not have to get that close, but I really do have to redo that inner rim. Does anyone have a recommendation for a setting powder? Some have recommended the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I was worried it would be a glow and I, I don't necessarily want added glow when I'm powdering. I should read the reviews again and see. Oh, I'm much better on this side. Wow, look at me go. Let's go back and fix this one. 
I'm so frustrated. This gathering tonight was kind of what I considered my Christmas party. Cause you know, I don't work outside the home. So I don't have a work Christmas party to go to. And my most fun time honestly has been with the parents from my son's hockey league. That was the best years of my social life since I've moved back to Canada. So I was really excited to see them. Actually, I might have a girl's day tomorrow. I have a brunch coming up. Hopefully I'll feel better for that. Right, I'm getting together with the girls. Um, I forgot. Well, that's good. That's it, get your makeup done and then blow your nose. Tis the season. Oh, that's no good. Oh, I do have some fallout here, guys. Darn, I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, I have a lot of fallout right there. Lots of sparkle. Can you see? It's okay. The darkness didn't fall, so that's good. Let's see. Is it enough to bother me? I don't know. I'll try this again. I don't think I'm gonna like it. It's the Easy Brow, and I got it in natural taupe. And from what I remember, it was too creamy. I don't like brow products that are too creamy, and I generally don't like them in a roll-up. Let's see how it goes. It's almost like when they're too creamy, it gets dark fast. And I like to be able to make hair-like strokes, and this is quite thick. And if it's too creamy, it starts sticking to my brows, you see? And when I comb it, it actually removes quickly too. Yeah, this, yuck. <laughs> this is just pushing my brow, yeah. Guys, it's a hard no for that one. I don't like that. Okay, I have this one. This is a, pers look at how dry that looks. Do you see? You see how that's gotten a bit white? I don't know what I think about that. Let's see. It's definitely better than the other one for sure. It feels creamy too. You know what, it could be because I put the other one on there already. Let me try it on this eye and see what happens. Oh yeah, nope, that's pretty creamy. Well, if you like a creamy brow product, then you would probably like this. I don't mind the shape of it. I don't know if you can see that it's narrow. The shape is a little bit different. So I don't mind that, but still a little creamy for my liking. It's easy to get a little heavy handed and that's quite dark. What color is this again? Oh, this is soft brown. Oh, well, that makes sense. Okay, well, let's see if I can make this look a bit more natural just by combing my brush through. And you see when I do that, it removed some of the product because it's too creamy, that's why. Yeah, and it's lost all of its shape. Not happy with that either. I've got LA Girl Shady Slim Brow. This one I do know I like. This one's in soft brown. I feel like I wanna remove this one. I'm gonna have to. Let's just get that right off. Before I get on with that, those sparkles are really gonna bother me. Shoot, that's too bad because everything else was looking good here. I'm just gonna get that off. And sparkles are hard to get off. So when I clean it up, I take my Q-tip and I roll as I go, trying to pick those up. They might be there for the night. If I'm gonna make mistakes, it's good to make them here. That way you guys can see how do we fix them or can they be fixed? Better question. This is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. This is by Maybelline. We already got a good view of what the NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation looks like. It's just a bit more suitable for what my skin color looks like right now. The other one was a bit yellow, even though it looked okay when I blended it out. A little bit right there. I'm gonna go back in and fix my eyeshadow a little bit because cleaning up my brow messed up with that just a touch. Now this is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow and the pencil is much drier. 
which I like because then I can really put some pressure down and make some natural hair-like strokes. I have much more control over the product. I'm not getting it too thick. It doesn't look like a big splooch. Now if I comb this out, it stays. You see? Way better. Whew. This is so fine too that I can get underneath the brow hair. The other one was so creamy it stuck to my hair and it made it all look goopy. Like I had a bunch of product in my brows. Yuck. No, no, no. The other one would be good for an eyeliner. I have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Concealer. I think that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just going to put it where I really need it. The rest actually looks okay. Really want to go right in there. Right there to clean up. And by doing that, I can see I need to put a little bit more brow product right there. Can you guys see that? All right. There. I hope this is still available. This is by Essence. It's a lip liner and it's called, why? Why did they make it so hard? Satin Mauve. They must have this. This would be a normal good color. My eyebrows have seen better days, guys. <laughs> I'm going to use NYX Butter Gloss. This one's in Fortune Cookie. Like, I'm gonna show you how I could perfect this easy with the brow product that I like. So. Yeah. Like when you've got something that just really works for you, cheaper isn't better, you know? It's better sometimes to pay and get what you want and then have your morning go just a touch smoother. That makes sense, like right here, I can get that looking perfect. Right there. And when I comb it, it doesn't blend away. Ah, I need to turn that off. My daughter just made it home. That's that Life360 app. My daughter lives in Brooklyn and I can tell where she is at all times. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that feels better to me. All right, the only thing I'm missing is a powder. And I do have a drugstore powder. It is the same one I use all the time. Let me know in the comments which powder I should try from the drugstore. This one works. It's the Revlon Translucent Powder. It's the Photo Ready. Yeah, I just need suggestions. I know Marcel has a really nice one. They've got a loose powder. I like everything better with that little dusting of powder over top. I feel like it blurred everything out. And yeah, it makes it a little bit more seamless. But by doing that, I lost a little bit of color. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Plum. And not a lot shows up on my brush, but you'll see it looks really pretty. Like it's not overly pigmented, but I don't like blushes that are overly pigmented. This is perfect. Those spots are coming right through, but oh well. So now I'm gonna spray with my Milani Make It Last Matte. It's a 16 hour wear. I haven't tested this out and I'm not going anywhere tonight, so I really can't test it out to see how well it works, but I can still spray it. The sprayer's nice. Ooh, I forgot, I have a little highlighter. This is the Halo Glow Beauty Wand and this is in Champagne. Again, I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand, tiny bit. I think that looks natural. 
on my nose, tiny little bit. I have to be careful because I'm getting those lines going across and that's just gonna enhance that. I'm gonna put a little bit right in the corner, right there. Maybe a touch right there. I'm getting carried away now. Maybe. <laughs> stop, Julie, stop. There. That was fun. I actually feel like I don't sound that bad now. Maybe it just took a shower and me getting ready to feel better. I don't know. Ooh, I'd so like to go. Maybe if I fix my hair, I could actually get going. Oh, I better back you up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me a recommendation for a powder, a drugstore powder that you like, that I should try. That would be great. It's nice to get your advice. I love it. Is there anything else? Oh, a brow product. Let me know if you have a drugstore brow product that you like. I did not have good luck with those. Let me also know if you like this concealer. Maybe I just got the wrong color of this because if it's too light, the darkness is gonna pop through and look gray and I'm not gonna be happy. But if it had more of a color corrector tone to it, maybe I would like this more. So let me know if you have tried this before and if you like it. If so, what color did you get? I got the color vanilla and I just always feel like I have to add more. I'm sure if I tried a color corrector underneath, it would be fine, but then that defeats the purpose. I do like the infallible though. That worked out really well. And I like the color of that too. I will list everything in the description box for you. And I will try to remember to pin a comment at the top of the comment section so you have an easier time finding it. I know that helps some of you. I think that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys have a great weekend. You will probably see this either tomorrow or Sunday. And I hope you guys don't get sick over the holidays. I'm kind of grateful that this is happening now and not when everybody's coming over for our family dinner. That's a good thing. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave. Share with all your friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye.